Just using the grab brush here again to define that eye a little bit more. This eye hasn't been distorted by roots kind of pulling on them as much. But I think once we start define, or detailing them a little more, we'll put some little simple vines coming in and around. I think with this wax brush here, uh, I'm going to use the full fall off here again and a little bit of a smaller brush. There we go, and just kind of pull that out a bit. We'll start to define some of these little pits and holes kind of around his, his head or in the, the structure of him here in a little bit. For now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the side. I'm going to call this previous layer I worked with here. We'll just call it root hand. I don't know which part that is there. And then in here I'm going to quickly form it, formulate some uh, base structure here. Again we can just, um, I guess probably the, the wax brush will do. The foamy brush is great for working in kind of these loose boulder like structures but I'm going to make it like his head is comprised of just a few kind of boulders or rocks there use a bit of a smoother fall off here as well build up some of this material a little bit Build up a little bit of that there. Smooth it out a little bit. We'll get the scrape tool going on that momentarily to define that a little bit. Make this kind of an odd shaped stone or boulder in there. And if I build up some of these big structures here with the wax brush, the scrape tool will really be able to get in there and provide some nice angles on that. There we go. We'll leave it as this for now. We'll get the scrape tool working on these features here in a moment. Let's continue on with the wax here to build up some structures around his jaw. the same on his head over here. We'll work in a bit of a plate or kind of a, a stone, like a boulder kind of eroded plate over time. Something that's been kind of weathered down maybe by the roots or just by other physical or kind of chemical processes over time. It's something that looks like it's been comprised of the forest or something, right? Rocks, roots, vines. that up, smoothing it out a little bit. Let's get that scrape tool in here and begin to break up this a little bit, define kind of an overall shape of them. I'm not going to go overly sharp as I've done on the boulders on the rest of the body. I want to keep this, you know, not necessarily smooth, but not as sharpened or, or chipped. Um, we'll probably have a lot of vines carrying over this guy here anyways. something big in here. We'll do for now. And then what we can do is start to work with this scrape brush here a little bit. Just to kind of carve up or scrape up the the surface on his skull and a brush that'll work great here is our random scrape tool. So there we go, we'll break that up a bit. Just kind of give these kind of um, flattened kind of, um, not necessarily chips, but kind of hammer marks in here. And 
chisel them up a little bit, especially on the jaw here. start to make him feel a little more his head a little more rock like here anyways get that flatten brush out and go along along that edge a bit the flatten brush will actually work much like the way the fill brush works it's gonna find kind of a common plane for the geometry that you're working with and essentially try to plane everything or pull all the verts in a flat direction along that that plane that it's working with there. So the highest point it's going to try to plant, give kind of a planner effect on that. That's fine for now. Maybe on this cheek here we can define that a little bit more. And then with our random scrape brush Let's look at the spacing that we have there. And just kind of throw some, maybe increase the strength on that a little bit, bring the size down. There we go. We can just kind of ding it up a bit, hammer it around here a little bit, get these kind of chiseled effects in here. I'm just kind of putting some ambient kind of chisels or chips here just around this. A lot of this space around his neck is going to be filled with other boulders, stones, things like that. The same process as he used in the first first couple of videos there where we're using the foamy brush or wax brush to build up some some structure on there. Just kind of break up this surface here a little bit. And if we get in the eyes, maybe we use a really small just kind of chisel into the eyes a little bit. And I'm starting to beat up that surface quite a bit there. 